but it ain't gonna stay. <laughs> so our, our district partner of the year, we look at um, the partnership that, that impacted every school across our district. And you'd think, you know, with, with 29, 30 schools on board, how do you get that done? Well, the, uh, the partnership between um, the school district itself through the uh, Coordinated School Health Office and Mary Miller and Lewis and Clark um, achieved just that. Um, how uh, it, it's astronomical when you try to, when, when you think about assembling close to 900 bicycles, how do you get that done? And they made it easy. So Mary and um, folks from Lewis and Clark, if you'll make your way this, this way, Remember the first time you rode a bike? It was freedom. It was like flying. Riding bikes is healthy for you. It's not very expensive and it's good for the environment and it's good for kids. So when we had the opportunity to apply for a grant to acquire a fleet of bicycles for every school in our district, we knew it was the right thing to do. And I had known the Potts family for quite a while. They had participated in some of the coordinated school health meetings that we'd had over the years. And they had helped with our first round of um, bicycle grants through Endeavor um, about 10 years ago now. And so when we had the opportunity, we asked them to put in a bid. And Kelly Hayes wants us to get bids from at least three people, that's one of the rules. So, um, but the bid that we got from Lewis and Clark Outfitters and the Potts family ultimately saved us about $60,000 at least. But what we didn't know is that when the bicycle, well, if I thought about it, I probably would have known. But when the bicycles came to us, they weren't sorted. They were just in stacks of large, extra large, small, medium, tiny. And um, <laughs> you had to sort those. We spent, I mean, literally in the warehouse, three or four days dragging boxes of bikes around and sorting them into groups by schools. So, and then the other thing is they're not assembled. So when you think about putting together 860 bikes, that's like how many, how many people on Christmas Eve have had to put together a bicycle? And I told Dr. Compton at the beginning of this, I said, Dr. Compton, I'm not very good at putting together bicycles, and if I do it, children will be bruised on the floor. <laughs> so thank heaven for Robert and the guys at Lewis and Clark because they, they, I know it wasn't easy at all, but they came to our, our rescue and they assembled bike builds, and we had 27 of them over the summer, volunteers from the schools, but especially um, the guys from Lewis and Clark they tested every bike for safety. They showed the volunteers how to assemble them. And um, I guess some of them helped with maybe five or 600 bikes themselves assembling. So it was a huge, it wasn't, it wasn't a small undertaking. It was not, it was a huge undertaking. And um, now our kids are able to have that wonderful feeling that we all had when we first learned to ride bikes, they're able to fly. Lewis and Clark also taught um, mechanics at the Ag Power Systems class at Springdale High School how to be true bike mechanics, and they gave, provided a three-day three -day workshop for um, three of our Ag Power Systems mechanics. And then now as we look forward, they're hoping to help us form biking clubs and teach clubs how to repair bicycles and just make this a very active, um, healthy community. And it, it's one of the best things we've ever done. The kids are loving it. And I just want to thank Lewis and Clark and especially our wonderful 
director of physical education, Robert Ferguson, because he also spent hours and hours and hours assembling bikes, and I can take no credit for that. <laughs> so thank you, Potts family. Can we give them a hand? We're having video. And this is Rob Potts. Thank you. Come on. I asked Mary two questions for tonight. One, what is the dress? And she said business casual. Uh, Lucy Clark business casual is usually shorts and t-shirts. <laughs> so, so I had to get a clarification on that. Uh, the second thing is I won't have to speak, will I? And she told me, she said I would, just very briefly. So I don't like to talk, so I won't be here long. Um, what the school system has done here, um, putting almost 900, I guess we are at about 900 bikes, aren't we? Um, to give you an example is we have a full-time staff in our bike shops of about 12 people each. And we'll build about 150 to 200 bikes in a month. Um, so we had to figure out how are we going to get 900 bikes built in a two-month time period. Um, who, is there anybody in here who, I know there are a lot, of, who, who volunteered to build bikes at, at some of the schools? So, no, there's, there's a number here. Thank you. So we, we researched this. We couldn't find anybody in the country who had put 900 bikes in the school system. So Robert, a, a really daunting challenge. Uh, so the schools, the volunteers, um, ourselves, uh, so we got the first part done. It is just the first part. Um, it, it's really exciting to see the kids out riding bikes. Um, it, it really is the first step. After this, we're really gonna need the community's help uh, to get bikes club, bike clubs going, to take care of the bikes, uh, to get kids riding bikes, to get kids racing bikes. Um, and, and then beyond that, to get them and their families out riding the trails. So, so to us, it really is. Uh, it's, it's one of the biggest things we've ever seen in Springdale, and, and we were really honored to be a part of it. Thank you. We were contacted uh, by the, actually by the Springdale Schools first of 